Blamoon Voss P-188 Jet Propelled Bomber The most outstanding feature of this aircraft is the peculiar plan form of the wing. From the root to approximately midpoint along each main plane, the structure is swept back 20 degrees, and from the midpoint to the tip is swept forward 20 degrees, giving a cranked appearance when viewed in plan form. The wings have a constant dihedral angle of 3 degrees from root to tip, and the incidence angle can be adjusted through 12 degrees. Four turbojet units are underslung from the inner sections, the intakes projecting well forward of the leading edges. There are four versions of this aircraft, designated P88.01, P88.02, P88.03, and P88.04. The main differences are arrangement of the jet units, the disposition of the vertical tail surfaces, and cockpit enclosure arrangement. P-18801. Turbojet units are equally spaced single nacelles, single fin and rudder. Air brakes are fitted in the tail. No armament. P-8802. Single jet unit nacelles, twin fins and rudders. Superimposed snakehead cockpit canopy. Armament fitted. P188.03. Jet units and twin nacelles under the wing. Single fin and rudder. No armament. P188.04. Jet units and twin nacelles. Twin fins and rudders with dihedral tailplane. Fuselage depth has decreased, the bombs being carried externally. Armament fitted. The undercarriage consists of four main wheels and two auxiliary wheels. The main wheels are mounted under the fuselage in pairs, the forward ones being in the nose behind the cockpit, and the rear ones approximately midway along the fuselage. The auxiliary wheels are on the outer wings, and when the aircraft is on an even keel they do not touch the ground, but are in the nature of steadiers. The fuselage contains a pressure cabin and a fuel tank of 1,500 gallon capacity is fitted to the center section. The bomb bay is beneath the fuel tank and is 15 feet in length and 5.5 feet wide. The armament of the P188.02 consists of two MG151s fixed forward, two MG151s fixed astern, and two MG131s movable in the tail. The bomb load can be eight 250 kilograms, four 500 kilograms, two 1,000 kilograms, one 2,500 kilograms, or one Fritz X. Crew, two. Span, 88.5 feet. Length, 57.5 feet. Wing area, 645 square feet. Aspect ratio, 12.15 to 1. Here are the rest of the specifications for these two particular variants. Blomunvoss P-192 dive bomber and ground attack aircraft. In this most unusual design, the nose, containing the pilot's cockpit, is entirely separate from the main fuselage, being carried by two inclined, streamlined booms, which in turn are anchored to tubular projections from the leading edge. These projections serve the secondary purpose of fairings for two MK-103 guns, 70 rounds per gun. The wing has a straight leading edge, apart from a step inboard of the projections where the radiators are housed. There is pronounced taper on the trailing edge. The wingspan is 42 feet 6 inches, and the wing area is 273 square feet. The Daimler-Benz 603G engine 
is such a close fit in the slim fuselage that it has been necessary to provide a slight bulge along the top to clear the auxiliaries. The propeller blades are carried by a large ring, which serves as a fairing between the nose and the fuselage. In addition to the wing guns, there are two MG151 20mm, 250 rounds per gun, in the nose. The main wheels retract inward into the wing roots. The normal all-up weight with 130 gallons of fuel and one 500 kilogram bomb is 12,620 pounds. Blamund Voss P193 ground attack aircraft. Yet another solution to the problem of obtaining improved visibility with a single engined ground attack aircraft is afforded by the P193. The nose containing the cockpit is no longer separated from the fuselage, as on the P192. The engine has been reversed and drives a pusher propeller at the tail through a very long shaft. This propeller position has necessitated a tricycle undercarriage, and the fin and rudder are below the fuselage to afford protection when taking off and landing. Apart from these modifications, the design is generally similar to the P192, although the span is reduced to 37.4 feet, and the wing area to 215 square feet. One large bomb, or two smaller bombs side by side, may be carried under the fuselage. Normal flying weight, 12,600 pounds. Maximum speed, climb and combat rating, at sea level, 300 miles per hour. Maximum speed, climb and combat rating, at 23,000 feet, 354 miles per hour. Rate of climb, at sea level, 2,130 feet per minute. Rate of climb at 23,000 feet, 1,080 feet per minute. Power plant, one Yonkers Yumo 213A. Blomund Voss P-194, multi-purpose aircraft. Intended for ground attack, heavy fighter, dive bomber, and reconnaissance duties, this is an asymmetrical mid-wing single-seat aircraft with a reciprocating engine in the nose of the fuselage and a turbojet unit behind or under the pilot's cabin. The main wheels retract outwards into the wing. All armament is mounted in the nose. Span, 50 feet. Length, 38.7 feet. Wing area, 392 square feet. Power plants, one BMW 801D 14-cylinder radial, and one Junkers Yumo 004C turbojet unit. Maximum takeoff weight, 21,200 pounds. Normal takeoff weight, 20,000 pounds. Mean flying weight, 16,700 pounds. Service ceiling, at 16,700 pounds, 36,000 feet. Service ceiling, at 21,200 pounds, 34,800 feet. Speed, climb and combat rating. Weight, 16,700 pounds. At sea level, 400 miles per hour. At 22,600 feet, 482 miles per hour. At 35,800 feet, 370 miles per hour. Landing speed, 93 miles per hour. Takeoff distance on grass. Weight 20,000 pounds, 1,700 to 2,500 feet without ATO. Rate of climb at 20,000 pounds at sea level, 2,950 feet. Climb to 29,500 feet, 15 minutes. Estimated range, 655 miles at 20,000 feet. Armament, two MG-151s and two MK-103s. Bomb load, nine SC-70s, or two SC-250s, or one SC-1000.
Blum und Voss P-196 dive bomber and ground attack aircraft. This jet-propelled dive bomber and ground attack aircraft is of twin boom design. The central nacelle houses the pilot and armament comprising two MK-103s or one MK-412 and two MG-151 20mm guns. Two BMW-003 turbojet units are slung side by side beneath the nacelle. The wing has a span of 49.2 feet and an area of 360 square feet. A bomb bay accommodating one SC-250 or one SC-500 is provided in the forward portion of each boom and the boom nose is extended beyond the leading edge. The widely spaced booms are connected by the high tail plane, which carries a vertical fin and rudder. The main wheels retract inward into the wing, and there are twin tail wheels in the upswept booms. This conventional undercarriage arrangement is unusual in a jet-propelled aircraft. All up weight with one 500 kilogram bomb and 785 gallons of fuel is 20,000 pounds. Alrighty folks, time for some insights and observations on what we've done so far. As far as uh, Arado Project 1, a viewer named Warbles On A Lot um, pointed out that there would be some FOD difficulties getting sucked up into the engine from the uh, nose wheel. And I got to agree that it would be a problem and something would have to be done about that. Arado Project 2 looks an awful lot to me like uh, the Douglas A3 Sky Warrior. Um, I'm sure it's just a coinky dink. <laughs> um, what else? The Blomund Voss P163 looks to me like it would be a very scary ride. And I can imagine doing an Immelman out at the wingtip of one of those things. Uh, you could probably sell tickets to that one. The Bacham Natter. Uh, I was absolutely dumbfounded and had to check it a couple of times. It had a climb rate of 37,400 feet per minute. That's over a thousand feet every two seconds, which is neck snapping acceleration. Um, ridiculous. Nothing else in World War II got even close to that. So I'll have more insights and observations later on down the line. Until then, back to work everybody. The present tense has been used for convenience in the following contents. However, this does not mean that an aircraft is in existence or that one was ever built.